This video provides an overview of non-invasive blood pressure measurement using Philips and Teleview patient monitors. It includes information on measurement references, pre-measurement bedside and patient setup, and measurement taking. Non-invasive blood pressure, or NIBP measurement, is an indirect method of measuring actual blood pressure. It's popular because of ease of use and automation. Different techniques are used to obtain NIBP measurements. The Philips and Teleview patient monitors use the automated oscillometric technique to determine the systolic, diastolic, and mean arterial pressures. It's important to note that all NIBP oscillometric devices use proprietary algorithms and should not be assumed to be interchangeable. Only those that have been independently validated with an established protocol should be used. This is described in the AHA 2019 Scientific Statement on Blood Pressure Measurement. Philips and Teleview monitors can be configured to be interchangeable by selecting the same reference standard algorithm on all devices. Next, we'll discuss the references in more detail. In Teleview users can choose from two algorithm reference settings, auscultatory and invasive. Both algorithms conform to the ISO 81060-2 standard and correspond to a traditional method of measuring blood pressure. The auscultatory setting is the factory default for Inteleview monitors and provides NIBP values that approximate to manual cuff and stethoscope readings. The invasive setting provides NIBP values that approximate to values measured using the intra-arterial method. Where consistency of readings is important, the same setting should be considered across monitors along the patient journey. Configuration of the NIBP reference setting on Philips monitors is a clinical decision that should be made by clinical leadership at the clinical facility. It should be considered at installation or during review of monitors used in the care pathway. The NIBP reference setting can only be changed in configuration mode. To comply with safety standards, the reference cannot be changed for the neonatal category and is always set to invasive. Next, we'll review pre-measurement bedside and patient setup. Bedside setup for NIBP measurement begins with selecting the patient category for your individual patient. Ensuring patient category is set correctly is imperative because different patient safety limits are applied to neonatal, pediatric, and adult patients. These limits include the maximum cuff pressure and duration of cuff inflation. In addition, monitors use different reference settings based on patient category to calculate systolic, mean, and diastolic pressures. The patient category can be confirmed by the icon next to the patient's name on the information line at the top of the monitor. If the category is incorrect, you can change it by clicking the Patient Category icon or Not Admitted to open the Patient Demographic window. Then, click the Patient Category icon within the window and select the correct category from the Patient Category menu. After selecting the Patient Category, users can confirm which reference standard, auscultatory or invasive, is being used on the monitor. As a reminder, the invasive reference standard is always used for the neonatal category and will not be visible in the menu when it's selected. Please note that the reference can be identified but not changed while in monitoring mode. If you encounter inconsistent configuration across or within your clinical unit or department, please contact your clinical leadership team. Continue setup by setting appropriate alarm limits and repetitive measurements. Once bedside setup is complete, begin patient setup by choosing the appropriate cuff size for the patient's limb circumference and applying the cuff to the limb. Complete NIBP setup by ensuring the cuff is connected to the tubing and the tubing to the measurement server. 
Now it's time to begin measuring NIBP. To initiate a blood pressure measurement on a Philips and Teleview patient monitor, select the Start Stop Smart key at the bottom of the monitor interface. Or select the corresponding Start Stop operation in the NIBP setup menu. The NIBP measurement is displayed on the monitor as systolic over diastolic, with the mean arterial pressure in parentheses. The pulse value derived from NIBP is also shown when it is selected. During measurement, whenever possible, an early systole estimation is displayed. Measurement duration varies based on patient and measurement conditions. Please note that NIBP readings can be affected by technical variables, such as the position of the cuff in relation to heart level and cuff size and tightness, as well as patient inherent variables, such as physiological condition, shivering, the measurement limb or extremity, and physical exercise. Therefore, a clinical caregiver must determine the clinical significance of the NIBP information in the wider medical context of the patient. Awareness of the references used in NIBP measurement is important for consistency. Thank you for taking time to become more familiar with the measurement references, as well as pre-measurement setup and measurement taking best practices on the IntelliView family of patient monitors. For more information on NIBP measurement, you can view Philips and Teleview application notes on the Philips website or contact your local Philips representative.